Growth Hacker TV. Because hustlers don't watch cable. Now talk to me about optimizing flows because like we said before, the whole goal is to get people to this must have experience. Um, and so what have been some of the ways that you found that are best to optimize the flow? Is there certain things you can do, certain things you don't do? But what have you found to get people to that experience quicker that really works? So what you want to do is actually, uh, is, is actually understand what's preventing them from getting to that mm -hmm. experience. So, um, you know, like in, in one, one uh, company that I worked with, we had the majority of people who signed up for the product from a certain channel. Apologies, but my I'm getting calendar pops on my. my <laughs> That's all right. So, the majority of people who signed up for a um, channel uh, or via a channel were not downloading the software, mm -hmm. and um, so they they would sign up and then they weren't downloading the software and. So you can, one thing you can do with flows is just like A-B test a lot of different ways to try to encourage them to download the software, for mm -hmm. example, just like in this case. And so you might make it more obvious that, you know, click on this button and maybe you make it a different color. Maybe you make it bigger. Maybe you say download the software. Maybe you say next step and you just mm -hmm. try different ways there. Um, but if you can actually get to the heart of the problem of why they're not downloading the software, then, then you're much likely to come up with an experiment that is going to move the needle. So um, I, had, I had one company where we had a couple hundred thousand people a day who were hitting the website. 10% of them were converting to a sign-up. So it's 20,000 people a day converting to a sign-up. This is through a new channel we had discovered. And then a 97% drop-off at the download step. Oh, wow. And A-B tested the heck out of trying to get more people to download, couldn't move the needle. But when we actually asked people, is anything preventing you from downloading the software at this point? We got the answer, I don't believe it's free. <laughs> and so once we, once we knew that the kind of offer was too good, then, then our next experiment actually tripled the download rate at that step, which made the channel viable. And the, the, what we actually did was we gave them a choice. We, say, we said, download free version of software, which we pre-checked with a big juicy check, like this mm -hmm. is what we expect you to take. And then, or download a trial of the, you know, paid version, ten dollar a month or twenty dollar a month mm -hmm. version. And when they saw there was a paid version, suddenly the free offer was credible, and a lot more people followed through with with that channel. But I don't think we would have ever gotten there if we didn't actually if we didn't actually know what was preventing them from downloading in the first place. Yeah. So you kind of what you want to do is is ultimately.